And all right, guys, what is going on? How are you all doing? Welcome back to another Creator Chats podcast. In this one, we are doing a video format. So if you guys are listening to this on the audio format, definitely come over to the YouTube, the Creator Chats podcast on YouTube. We are joined today with the man, Jesse. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Jesse Ross, guys. We have three cameras, the communal, one on Jesse, one here. My voice, guys, is shot. I have a little bit of a cold, so <clears throat> hopefully that doesn't get too annoying. We have the tea to compensate. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to be chilling. We're just going to be yeah. chatting. I haven't talked to Jesse in a while. minute, guys. It's been time. And uh, yeah. I think the last... Actually, what's funny, I'm speaking to you, Jesse, the last podcast that I did was with you when we were on the table. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. I do remember that. We were... Uh, a lot A lot happened during that time. Yes. And uh, as a bit of context to you guys, I have nothing planned with this podcast, as I never do. This might be a complete bail. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Or it might be yeah. great. <clears throat> I have no clues. So we're going to run it and just hopefully the, 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 the intent is to help creators. Yeah. It's to help people ideally doing something remotely similar to what we're doing, yeah. but maybe are in the beginning phases. Right. And we're all kind of in the, <clears throat> you get what I'm saying, speaking to us as a viewer. So Jesse, why don't you take it away? What is coming to your mind, your head? To creators right now, well, anything. what I've done is like... <clears throat> I think every creator should have a job to a degree. Some kind of career, obviously one that's not gonna last like your entire life, but something that is going to fuel your craft financially. <laughs> so it's like, say you wanna get part into time. videography. Yeah, part-time. Videography, <laughs> acting, whatever it is, cartoon, whatever you I wanna agree. do. I like that. You should have a job and then you should funnel your finances into yeah. that. That's one thing that I've learned because I was kinda, <laughs> I was doing the freelance background work and that was not uh, financially sound, so. Yeah, no, let's, let's, let's touch on that because um, tell them where you worked beforehand to like fuel what you were doing here and maybe like the di dynamic behind that, like jobs that are super taxing, jobs that are kind of like dummy jobs that we call. Yeah. And I'll speak of Baskin for me. Well, yeah, basically working <laughs> retail, it gets you kind of where you need to be. It just gives you enough. Yeah. Um, but exactly. it also gives you the time to do exactly. what you want to do. Exactly. And time is most important in this craft. 100%. For me, as a bit of context to you guys, which I think you guys know, I worked at, I had two main things, but one, I worked part-time at Baskin Robbins, which is an ice cream place for four years. And literally like 90% of that money that I gained from there, as I don't have to pay rent yet, was back into my craft. Yeah. And if I didn't have Baskin, yeah. <clears throat> I'd be fucked. Yeah. I, I really hope, <clears throat> sorry guys if my voice is annoying, but yeah, I'd be fucked. Like it was such an amazing thing. So maybe to some of creators out there, you know, the reality is, is that you're going to need to work part time for quite you, a few years. You will at some point. Oh, like a hundred percent. Like, like you might have to your whole life, but you'll still be a creator. Like, you know what I mean? I like that. That's yeah. That's very true. Because I would love to sit at home all day and create music and draw and either, you know, become an actor, which I'm trying to be, but it's, uh, <clears throat> All of these things, like, they're cost-effective, right? Right. That's my It's a, that's it's my a process. Opinion. Yeah, it is. It's a process. When do you think you make that leap? Because for people now, I'll explain a bit of my story, which I'm not saying is, is, is you know, absolutely amazing. These are just completely raw, honest mm -hmm. talks. So I was at Baskin for four years. I quit Baskin about a year ago. And in the meantime, to make money, <clears throat> I'd been doing a bit of freelance work. So photo and video stuff. Now, full disclosure... If I was at Baskin, as of yeah. right now recording this, I would be making more money than my freelance, yeah. 100%. So when, and I'll put my opinion on this, like when do you... Well, I don't think there's an exact time. It's whenever it feels right to you, right? Because right. my scenario is completely different than Very yours. True. Like, Very true. I, I don't have what you have. So it's like Very if true. I don't work, word, I don't eat. I like that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's true, man. And as a creator, that's hard on me too, right? Because I'm going, I'm going, oh crap. Like, I'm like... I want to do all this other stuff, but I'm like, I have to work because I need to provide for 100% ABC, right? Yeah, 100%. No, it's true. Like if I didn't have the freelance stuff, I would, I'd still be basking. Yeah. Like without a doubt. Yeah. Um, but it's all part of the process, right? It builds character. Yeah. And, and which the thing, then is put back into your craft and art. 100%. Right? So I guess for you guys, there's no necessarily cut off time to, or it's not black and white. It's not like you still work part time. You're a loser or you know, you, you aren't working part time, you're a winner or vice versa. But don't think it's don't think it's forever. Don't think you're stuck there. Right. Work with the intent that 
it's going to pay off in what you right, want to do. Right, which, Keep it in the back which of your a mind. A lot of people, I'm afraid. Every single day, they don't they don't do that. I'm afraid they don't do that. They don't do that. Which is the scary part. I yeah. actually really like that. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long you're there for. Yeah. As long as the intent in your mind. Intent. Yeah. Is I'm not going to be here forever. Forever. Who cares if you've been here for five years? No. Still work hard. Still do the job properly. Just know that it's not for nothing's forever. There's some straight facts right there. Yeah. And that's something I've realized recently too. That's something that I, I struggled with, right? It's like you go into a job and you're like, oh, how do I get out of this? But you, you find a way. You either find another job or you things do what just you have happen. To do. Things happen, yeah. Yeah. You listen to your gut, you listen to life. And it always happens in a very interesting way. I think to know maybe when your time, like I can only go off my experience because I, I actually quit basking and I went back. Yeah. Right. So I, I, I've had my fair shot at quite a few businesses and I, I left Baskin to pursue a fitness business that I had at the time and it did well, but I dropped that because I wasn't fulfilled enough. So I actually had to go back to Baskin. And I think for you guys, maybe some of you are on that fence right now. <clears throat> maybe you want to take that first quit. Maybe you'll go back. Maybe you yeah. won't. Like, how, how do you know? When do you know? Because first off, I don't think you're ever going to be hundred percent ready. No. And I think people wait for that too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why they're like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have everything checked off my list. And like, that never happens. Yeah. You know. But it, it's, it's, a, it's a survival of the fittest thing, right? It because is, man. There's no one answer. Like, there really is no one answer. No. You know? And there's, there's no blueprint. Like there's we no blueprint. Before, right? Like, <clears throat> you can create one. That doesn't mean it's going to go the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? The, the path isn't, yeah. You know what I like? I think, to be honest, oopsies. I think more people, especially in our situations and scenarios where yeah. we're still young 20s, right? Yeah. For the most part, we're not, we don't have kids. No. We don't have bills to pay. Yeah. We're living with our parents. I think more people should at least once, because we've, we've both done this. Yeah. If you're working a job and you're super secure, I think more people should temporarily at least once quit that job and i don't mean forever it doesn't have to mean forever no that doesn't mean you can never go back to part-time yeah, yeah but yeah. i think i think some people should genuinely stop that because people will stay in that for like six years an entire life man yeah like my manager at baskin she's like fucking she's like 50 and i'm not saying you're gonna be 50 and that's okay you know what i mean that's some people's <laughs> lot in life and there's nothing wrong with that but it's like different different strokes for different folks you know right. like it's like everybody has like you don't want to put anybody down, you know what I mean? Like no, no, that's, no. Yeah. no, absolutely not. No, no, yeah. no. no, but I do think definitely, I think more people stay in their jobs and then live with that regret opposed to not taking it. Like they, I was watching this video the other day and I think it was like 78% or 76% of people, you probably heard this on their deathbed, their biggest regret, like they made like a tally. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. dying in a hospital, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Or at a, whatever it was. And they asked them like, what are your biggest regrets? Yeah. And they all said, you know, I, I don't regret what I did. Yeah. I regret what I didn't do. Didn't do. It was like yeah. 78% of people. Yeah, yeah. It might have even have been more. And I saw it like a few days ago. That's... <laughs> so For like sure. what I'm saying to you guys is <clears throat> you can always go back to the job. I went back to Baskin. Now, did I think I was going to go back? No, but you can. You can go back to the part-time job. You know, leave on a good note. Be yeah. extremely honest, which I was. I, I, I wasn't like, fuck you guys. I'm quitting. Yeah, like, no. I was like, with where I'm at right now, I'm taking a leave of absence. Like, I'm going to try to pursue my thing. Yeah. And if you're cool with that, they'll take you back. Yeah. You know, this has happened with tons of people. This has happened with my mom. I'm not going to go to it to death, but like, I think a lot of people, like, to be honest, like, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to say it because this is just <clears throat> how I am or I guess how we are or people. Just more people need to take risks, man. Like, yeah. like that's it at the end of the day. Well, it, it comes down to complacency, <clears throat> right? Like, it's 100%. Like 100%. Some, some people like it. I, I don't like it. I need to constantly be moving forward or moving in a different direction. It doesn't even have to be forward, just somewhere something different, a different, different avenue, a different route, right? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I, I, I can't like, I just gotta be completely honest. Um, I'm almost of like the conviction that, cause you were talking about complacency, like you want to struggle in life. I don't know, man. Yeah. Because then there's pay out there. There's reward. I don't think enough people struggle to be honest. Yeah. And I don't mean you're on the fucking street, man. Like, no, that's not no, what I'm talking about. No. You have you have food for the most part. You have areas. So I guess, what would you say to those people? Because you and I, not that <clears throat> we're putting ourselves on a pedestal. It's just what we're speaking right now. We've put ourselves in quite a few situations that <clears throat> are uncomfortable. What would you say to some people who uh, maybe refuse that? Or they should be put in more uncomfortable situations? 
Um, like, like, what do you do? How do you how do you do that? Because a lot of people, the, the death. How do you how do you with, guide them? Like, how do you? I guess so. Because the death of progress is well. If you don't under, if they don't understand it, then you can't um, <clears throat> you can't show them. Like, do you think it's just not meant for everyone, or do you think like? I don't think it. Yeah, right. I just don't That's think like it's the debate in my head. Is like yeah, it's an understand. It's a misunderstanding of it. It's uh, again, right? It's 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 what parents and grandparents have told <clears throat> kids and grandkids and yeah. certain paths to one of like my biggest like battles in my head is the battle of everyone has a massive passion and a purpose which I still do believe and everyone has to take these steps and, and be bold and be the superhero of their movie going through all those struggles and challenges or is it just given to like certain people and the rest of people not like knocking on anyone are just kind of like gray area they're just like I literally yeah. don't know. Like in my mind, I feel like everyone's a Hercules. Like everyone needs to go on the call to adventure, <clears throat> yeah, in their own way, yeah. Or is it only given on birth to like some people? Life's like you, you, you out of like the masses. Like I actually like I'm genuinely curious because mm-hmm. I don't think not everyone's a fucking. But like, are they not because it's just not their dharma? It's not their path, or are they just too afraid? Like I, I have no clue. That's like my biggest thing I think of. Well, some people are given a lot worse too, right? Oh, dude, 100%. A lot worse. 100%. And I, I, I saw it firsthand. I'm not going to go into my scenario. But I, I, uh, I saw the other, the other side, right? Like the, like the worst it can get for people. And it's like, it's all perspective. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just talking. We're just talking at this point. <laughs> And this tea's good. Yeah, bro. This, I'd say the same, but it's a little cold, but it's still blessed. It's still blessed. Um, you know what? Maybe we should speak of gratitude. Yeah. You just said this tea's good, and I said, hey, man, it's cold, but it's still blessed. It's the little things. It's the little things, bro. And people people disregard the little things. They forget about the little things. So let's speak of why gratitude is so important, though, especially. I'm now talking to the people. We're assuming these people are on the trenches. I'm talking about some, uh, something as simple as eating food. Trust, bro. Like, th- like you should be thankful. Dog, that a shower. A shower. Motherfuck. <laughs> a fucking place to sleep at times. No, yeah. I get it. <clears throat> a brain that functions 100%. properly. Arms, legs. Yeah, by no means do I ever want to ever convey that like Jesse and I have been homeless or anything like that. That's not what we're trying to say no. per se, but there's been quite a bit of struggle and I think gratitude can only come through perspective. Yeah. Right. You can only be grateful for this mug. If I take this mug away from away, you. it'll yeah. be impossible otherwise to be like, you know, you tell people like, just be great. You tell kids, right? Yeah. Be so grateful that you have a good house and the kids are like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Cause yeah. they don't, there's no perspective. There's no, but yeah. once they have that <clears throat> taken away, it's now kind of beaten into them. Yeah. Which is where it goes back to taking risks, getting uncomfortable. Cause then you'll appreciate Right. It's like the most grateful people in the world have have not had all of those things. Yes. It's all one thing. You know, we're speaking about comfort, entitlement, gratitude. And look, I again I just I want to make it super clear, like we're not I'm not putting myself on a pedestal saying like we've had it the hardest. That is absolutely not the case. Look, dude, I'm talking to a fucking camera. I'm in North America and we have a house. Yeah. Gratitude. Yeah. It's fucking great. It is. It is truly, but once you, once you understand gratitude, because some people don't have it. Some people. How do you think someone gets it? To the people who don't have it, by going through yeah, exactly the worst. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> by having the coffee mug taken. Yeah. So that that begs the question: Well, why would I want my coffee mug taken? Why, if I can live a cozy life, why would I want? Because that's the thing. Why would I leave my job? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, the reason why we had to is because an analogy I use like a dog, okay, a dog sitting on a nail. Change only happens when there's pain or there's a stimulus to, there's a reason to. Yeah. If you're comfortable, you won't. So what happened in our lives or the reason we changed is because we were so uncomfortable in the situation we we're in. Even though it may have been comfortable, it was oh. so uncomfortable to us yeah. that we changed. I've been uncomfortable <laughs> for 24 years, so... I'm kind of used to it, at this point. but um, yeah, no. You, but that's you, how it happens, and you have to adapt. Yeah, it's 100%. everybody's life is different. Yeah, no, and I think it's it's understanding and misunderstanding. I don't think it's, um, I think people have to go through it to understand it. But that's also why, like I say, like you want a, a challenging life. Yeah. 
in a nutshell, I don't want to beat around the bush. Like the reason you will work or hustle or 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 make something, do something, is because there's discomfort. There's That's discomfort. It. Yeah. Now the thing is, and you're is, grasping, you're grasping. Yeah, you have to run. Yeah. You have there's a fire behind you. You have a fire under your ass. Avalanche. Now the best thing is that life just puts fire under people's asses. Yeah. I'm I'm just thinking like. And this is this is what I think, to be honest. This is why I think everyone is a Hercules in a sense, and everyone will uh, pursue their, their hero's journey. Every life, kind of think it metaphorically. Life has a fire under everyone's ass. You can line up like all eight, nine billion, or the fuck people. There's a fire under everyone's ass. Some fires are stronger earlier on. Some are not. Some are kind of like it's like a dim switch. Eventually, though, what happens is the longer you wait to turn off your fire by moving, hustling, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah. If you're not moving right now, that means your fire is getting stronger. Yes. Till eventually you're going to get to a point. Some people, what I'm saying, some people just have this earlier. Mm-hmm. Life to some people is like, I'm going to notch you up from birth really fucking high. Yeah, Other yeah. people is like just a bit, but it always gets gradual. It always yeah. does. If you're not hustling yet or you haven't made that move yet, it's coming. And I say it in, 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 a, in a very empowering way. Or try it out. Try it out, but, 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 but they'll only try it if it's so hot that they'll say, I have to actually move locations now. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, they'll stay. It's comfort. Right? It's a dog analogy. A dog will be crying. You know, this is just a little analogy. There was a dog lying on, looking at Kira, lying on a blanket, and it was whimpering. And the owner was like, what the fuck's wrong? Like, why are you crying? And the dog was lying on a nail. And the owner was like, why don't you just move? Like, what are you doing? And it's because the nail wasn't, it was not painful enough for them to move. It's kind of like when you're in your bed and we all yeah. do this where it's kind of cold or yeah. like the lights are on <laughs> and like we want to turn the lights off. But you're so comfortable. But yeah, we're so comfy. You won't, you won't move. That yeah. we don't really care until it gets so bad. It's so bright that we can't sleep that we're like, fuck this and we go turn off the lights. That's where we need to get in life. That's the analogy. Yes. So that's yeah. where I'm using the dimmer switch where it has to get so hot. Life's got to turn it up so much that you're like, I'm done. Yeah. You know, and that's how, that's how evolution happens. That's what evolution is in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. It's change and adaptation. Just for whatever reason, some people had to go through that sooner. Yeah, for me then. it was OCD. For you, is there's, there's tons several. Of, s- yeah, there there are tons of things. Lists. Yeah, you know, yeah, hundred percent. Some people have anorexia. Some people have yeah. an abusive dad. Some people have yeah. But not not only that, an environment too. Not even what's going on both. inside of your internal own mind. Both. Both. both internal, external, external, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's all the, the yeah. So I guess the people who, and this is actually what I believe too, if you're watching this, there's a very good chance that you already have a massive switch under your ass. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have clicked on this video. You wouldn't be watching this. And to you guys, I'm saying, make the move. But, you know, that's kind of frivolous. It's trivial. You can't tell anyone to do anything. No. Right? You can't. I can say, like, we can, you know, Gary yeah, You can v, talk right? about it till you're blue in the face. Yeah, exactly. You can be just like, up, do it. It's up to them, yeah. So yeah. it's, it's almost like that vegan debate where it's like you look at veganism as just as an example, like how do you get people to turn vegan? Is it by like yelling at them like do it? Or is it by saying here are the benefits of living the life we live, the vegan life or the honest, yeah. creator life, join. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's like how do you, how do you, how do you, because you care. Yeah. It's like you want them to, but how do you do it? It, sh- it should <clears> be g- gradually, not definitely to, right? But uh, yeah, I ate vegan for four days actually. Yeah. At my cousin's. It was a different experience. I could probably do it. You should but, try um, it. You should definitely try it. But I do like my uh, A&W uh, <laughs> Papa Burgers. So. Yeah, this is not yeah. a vegan podcast. No. We're not going <laughs> to no. go down that rabbit hole. But definitely try things with whatever your gut's yeah. you know, telling you to do. I encourage you to try it. Yeah. How long have we been talking? Probably about half an hour. 40 yeah. minutes. 20. I feel like we got a last little wrap up. I feel yeah. like we got, I feel like it's like one more wave, one little wave left for us to like. Yeah. This is good, man. Yeah. We give, we give it bear, bear value in context. I'm just trying to I kind of want to like last on like the finishing thing where it's like, because I think a big thing with social media or whatever is, is obviously the comparison thing, right? And I think it's more so, I think a lot of times, we look at things in black and white where it's like, here's the thing, okay? With social media, with whatever you're doing, what am I trying to say? 
everyone's path is so different and subjective. So I just, like we were spoke, speaking about veganism, right? Or maybe mm-hmm. things like no fap or things, these practices. And I really want to explain, explain and express how doing one thing or another doesn't make your journey any more valid than someone else's. No. It's all about who you are when you do it. Yeah. And I think a lot of people get caught up in like, oh, I'm not, because you look at trendy videos. I'm not doing cold showers. I'm not doing this. I'm not vegan. I'm not this. I must be yeah. wrong. But, but in case, you can actually be way ahead. Way ahead. And yeah. people can be doing it dogmatically, trying to be, which could be fucking them up. I kind of want to like touch on that last thing because I think too many people. Sure. Like, we'll go there. Compare. And they're okay. like, I'm not doing this. But it's like, yeah. that's not what your gut, that's not your path. Yeah. That's not your path. That's not your, that's somebody, yeah. That's somebody else's path. Yeah. You doing that would be harmful. Yeah. It could be detrimental. Not everyone's supposed to. No. Fucking drink tea 10 times a day. Or You're something. not supposed to live somebody else's life. You're supposed to live your own life. Which is the hardest thing to do because. And to deal with, especially in this day and age. Yeah. Again, with social media. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it's the trickiest It's so thing. backwards. Yeah. But that's, I've stayed off it. Like I, I'll post, but then I'll, I'll leave. I yeah, just, let, yeah, let's speak about that a little bit. I, I, I'm not attached to Instagram right yeah, now. Guys. I'm not attached to Facebook. I can't because it's, it's uh, it, again, it is detrimental. It's just something that like we innately kind of compare ourselves to. We want to, to 100%, man, because that's a human tendency. To and see. or judge. 100%. Yeah. We could judge too. We could, we could be judging somebody, which is, which is wrong as well, right? So. I think at the end of the day, it, it all comes back to just listening to your own gut and your own northern star, life, the universe, whatever name you want to give it. But just listening to yourself and what's going to best benefit you at that moment. Because always that's the best answer. Always listen to your gut. Because right. I was in a scenario recently <laughs> where I wasn't really listening to my gut and it complete, it went south so fast. But it was also a lesson. Exactly. So It's always a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't even, yeah. Who knows though? Like, yeah, that's a completely different topic. Yeah. For a different day. But yeah, I think the moral of the story, guys, is listen to your own gut, follow your own stoke. You know? Just because someone's doing something doesn't mean you should. I mean, you look at TikTok, right? Which yeah. is a new app. Philip's on that right now, which is for, for him, for him, I think it's working. See, I barely even know what that is. Okay, okay. Well, we won't talk about that. But more of the story yeah. is like a lot of times it's very black and white. And, and I've been a culprit of this where I've, I've like told people, like, no, you have to. Like, I've told Philip as an example, like, you know, this is how YouTube works. Like, this is how you more or less have to do it. And now this whole next thing is coming and he's finding that. And I basically want to say to you guys that, like, the older I get, the more I realize life gives a different path to everyone. Yeah. And it's, and it's, it's so important just to stay true to that path and to keep your blinders on. Yeah. Because once we start realizing and saying, but they're doing daily vlogs or, but they're doing month long videos that take a month and they're only yeah, posting yeah. five a year. Yeah. But he's actor, but he's an actra and he's, you know, doesn't matter. It's <clears throat> doesn't matter. It, yeah, it really doesn't matter. No, it's what's best for you, and you can yeah. only achieve that through listening to your own gut. Meditate. Be in solitude. Don't have a lot of stimulus, to be honest. No. Don't have a ton of friends. Not even just friends, but just because you don't want to be swayed too much. No. You hey don't. Jesse, do this. Hey Jesse, do this. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Like Hundred different directions coming at you and po- poking you. Which is why you and I have such a good friendship because we can just separate and not see each other for weeks but then we know right like we'll come back to it at some point honestly that has been one of the biggest lessons that i've learned the i best. don't go oh david's mad at me or like no, you know no, or no, like no, no. no yeah, but vice dude, versa right no like it's good you say that man because yeah. that was actually <clears throat> something i did that was not good to people yeah yeah i was uh especially adri yeah which is the girlfriend we're kind of together but we're kind of not and that's why i'm saying that i used to be very like i guess because like i care about people but just very like I'm almost like, it's like a religion. Yeah, it's tough love. I'm, I'm, I'm like, but in the way where it's like, I'm, in, I'm imposing a religion on you. I'm imposing yeah. you have to do this. But the older I get, the more I realize we each have our own religions. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I would, I would tell you for a long time, like get on YouTube or I would tell Adri to do this and do this. But it's like, life's got a plan for everyone. And your thing could be, like with Philip as an example, he's now on TikTok. Back when I was telling you about YouTube and I was kind of like hammering in his head, there's no such thing as that. So who am I to say, do this when life's yeah. got a plan for everyone? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I need to like, you know, yeah. just because it works for me or, or it's what I'm trying to do and vice versa. Creators, we get stubborn sometimes and we get like. Well, it's like trying to convince somebody to convert. Like if it, you're, Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like a religion or like yeah. a food eating pattern. If you're not, a, if, if you want somebody to become <coughs> Buddhist, you can't, you can't, just, you can't just lay that on them. You have to 
gradually introduce it to them, right? But like my thing is like what I'm saying now, what if Buddhism Buddhism isn't even meant for them? Exactly. Instead of me even like I'm at a point now where like I'm not even gonna try to gradually tell you what to do. Yeah. Because who am I to say Buddhism is exactly. is the way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that was good, man. It was a good talk. Let me just check while we're yeah. Sick, we're at 27 minutes. Yeah, man, let's, let's, let's wrap it up. I feel like half an hour is a good... Yeah. Is a, I really hope my Short voice enough. wasn't too too bad. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> that is going to be it. We're going to finish it there. I really apologize that my voice is like this. Little kids at the library gave me germs. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. You know, kids. We have big goals for 2020, which may include a, a space with no little kids running around. But uh, that's it. Guys, I'm going to finish it there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put Jesse's Instagram down below. And again, I just really hope that these talks can give you guys some behind the scenes insight into how creators or us at least are just how we really think. People. People. Yeah. In an unfiltered way. Yeah. You know, the shit some people th we think about and like hopefully this can help. So that's that. Thank you guys. Jesse, any last words or just say peace or whatever? Yeah. Peace and uh, best of luck. Bon voy. Oh,